Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So in today's video what we'll be going over is creating a system in which we can use a real world sun position. And what that means is basically the sun you can see on screen now is the exact location that the sun would be at around about this time of day at this time of year. That's in London so it's in the actual position. Now this is good for let's say you want to make a game set in a certain location, so a certain city or a certain country or anything like that you can make it look even more realistic with the sun being in the correct position in the sky and this is also very very easy to set up. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to enable a plugin. So we're going to go up to edit in the top left and then go down to plugins. Once it's open we're going to simply select all plugins here and search for sun position like so and we're going to get the sun position calculator. Now this is already built into the engine so you don't need to get this from the marketplace or anything like that. It's built in and obviously completely free. So tick it there to enable it and then you'll just need to restart your engine to make sure this is actually usable. And you'll see this is obviously calculates the sun position based on latitude, longitude and date and time which is perfect for what we want. So I'm going to restart this and I'll get back to you once I've done that. So once you're back in the engine we can close this page here and what we're going to do is we now need to find the content this has given us. So we're going to go to control space to open our content browser. Then we're going to press the little folder icon next to all so we can choose a path. And what you can do is open engine and plugins and go search for it there. Or we can simply just search for sun, if I spell it correctly, sun position. And we want the sun position calculator content. Not C++ classes, just the content. Go there and you'll see we now have BP sun position and sun sky. We have two different blueprints here. The one which I'm going to be using is Sun Sky, like so. It doesn't matter where you put it, just drag and drop it in. And you'll notice when I do drop it in and let go, what we're going to see is it's actually going to be quite bright. So this isn't as bright as it was when I tested it earlier. The screen was completely white, but this isn't exactly what we want. So the reason for that is we've now got two light sources in a level. So if we edit Sun Sky in the top right here, you'll notice that we also have directional light in here. Now this is actually perfect, the intensity here is 3, which is what we want it to be. For some reason when I did this earlier, the intensity was 75,000. So if your screen is just completely white, that will probably be why. I don't know why it sometimes works, sometimes doesn't, but basically that's why. So what I was going to do, we don't need to now, but what I was going to do was select our normal directional light, which we have in here. Look at all these settings and make sure that the settings for directional light inside of the Sun Sky Blueprint are the same. So they obviously are the same for us already but if you've changed anything over make sure that you do change it over again as you can see here. And once you have done that we just want to de delete the directional light from inside of our level and you'll notice it's now perfect once again as we're only using one directional light source. And then that's all we need to do to set it up. Now we can actually start using it. So if we select it once again we can now change all of the different settings down here. So again, if we look up at it, you'll notice we have north, south, east, and west. If you actually have a north already set up in your level, and it's not in the correct location, you want to make sure that you don't just rotate it like that, because that's obviously not doing anything. What you want to do is actually rotate it using this north offset here, and that will actually work perfectly. So if I had to rotate it at 90, that means north is now facing this way. I'm fine with it facing the way it was originally, obviously it doesn't matter for me, but if it does matter for your map, change it how you need. Then all we need to do is change the latitude, longitude, time zone and also the month and day as well as the time. So I'm going to be setting this up for London just because why not. So the latitude for London is 0 0.1276, the longitude is 51.5072 and the time zone at the moment is 1 because we're in BST. So the time zone is going to be UTC plus or minus whatever it is. So again, BST is UTC or GMT plus one, and it'll also be the same for all your American time zones, European, Asian, all those different time zones which you have. Make sure it's perfect for UTC plus or minus, whatever number comes after that is the number you put in the time zone. North offset, again, I've already gone over, and now we want to do the month and day. So the month is going to be seven for July, the day is going to be 4 for the 4th of July, which is the day I'm recording this. So actually, if you're American, happy 4th of July. And the time, I'm just going to do 11, as that's actually the exact time it is right now. So if I were to look up at the sun, it's up there. And if I were to look out my window, I'm not in London, but I'm obviously close enough. The sun is actually in that exact position. So this does 
work perfectly for what we want. If I had to look just off of north, very high up in the middle of the sky, that works perfectly. And if you hover over where it says solar time, you'll see it says time of day in float, example 12.5 equals 12.30. So that's how you do it. So obviously quarter to one will be 12.75 and so on and so forth. So I think that'll be it for this video is we've done everything we want to do. What we've done is very simply set up so we can use the sun position calculator inside of our game to actually set up where the sun would be in a real life location. Again, my example being London at this exact time of day and year. And if you want to find out where summer is, you can literally just Google the city name and then coordinates at the end. So I just Googled London coordinates and it comes up perfectly there. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.